fire have you got now? Take these um, corners off. Just take the corners off. I've already taken the other ones off around there now. And um, leave it set in the frame. Um, leave it set in the clamps of frame, okay? Keep it absolutely square. Because what we're going to be doing now is, um, is making this piece here, which is softwood, which is a piece of softwood my sister got for me from the... Uh, from the set of Atlantis. I don't know what Atlantis is. I think there was a, a film studio that was making a television series just on the road that way. And uh, it's just already softwood. And I, I won't give you a lesson in, in basic uh, carpentry, but what I've done, I've just machined them up into half laps to make the corners stronger. So, and I've marked them all out. Okay, so that's just like a half lap joint there. And uh, You've got to get them back on exactly the same as you take them off because even though I've made a big fuss of getting that as near as I can to square, it won't always fit on the same way. So what I've done now, I've packed um, the height of that clamp there, I've packed it with some just timber around there, okay? So this will fit in at the right height like that. And um, So I know that's the right one, I've marked there's a river just by there, the Avon Lewis, it's the fastest flowing river in, uh, in the country I think, you know? So I marked that with the uh, R there, so I know which way it goes. And uh, like I said, that's just a half lap joint there, which I did on my cross-cut saw there. But you can do it with a nice tenon saw, you know, a nice sharp tenon saw. Hold it in. That's the way I used to do them before I had a saw. That's the way the old carpenters used to do them as well, but uh, I've got to get on. So I'm using this now to keep this square. Now This, this is like the inner frame now. You won't actually see this software, they're making a frame out of oak. So uh, I'll just come round there now. Uh, so I know that inner frame is absolutely perfectly square. So now I'm going to stick some glue on, I know it's spot on. Make a big fuss over that. Okay, so now I'm going to glue it and screw it, belt and braces to get it absolutely fixed down. Just get some glue on it first now. I'm not too worried about them. Um, because I'm using glues and screws as well. Let's get a bit of glue on that one as well. I am going to take it apart twice then. That'd have helped if I'd have done that. I've actually cut this joint a little bit smaller than I need to do it to give me something to play with when I'm working on it. But I don't actually want it to be too tight on the frame, we won't get it back off. Okay? It's just to help you, if you've got a couple of cheap clamps, just to hold things in place for you while you're, while you're struggling away. Especially when you're working on your own. You don't want anybody to hold something there for you while you just put a couple of screws in. Just pack it under there to hold it up at all up at, the, at a nice square angle. So it's fitting exactly down on top of that frame. It's not right on it, but it's there. So that's just a corner clamp. Okay, you can get these cheap as well now. But you haven't got that one of these, you can go. You can use those wooden wedges like I was showing you earlier on. Okay. So I'll just hold it there now nice and square. I'm gonna drill a couple of holes quickly. Pilot hole first. Straight down through. Put down the lid. Not tight, just just to hold him in place. Half 
Our flap joints are easy enough if you've got some hand tools, you know, there's plenty of carpentry sites online to show you how to do a half lap joint like one of these. So, um, but um, I won't go into that with you, that's basic carpentry really. And I try to do something for the... <gasps> I don't mind showing an absolute beginner to do anything, you know, but I try to offer something up to help somebody that's a further along the path. Busy in a way, yeah. I cut all the miters now on these slats, okay? This is the part you're going to see. Um, cut all the joints within half a millimetre again, as I've shown you on this thing. Sawed them away, took the waste off. Took them over to my linisher and just dressed them up a little bit. Took great care in marking them again. I won't show you to do basic things like marking them. Now I'm going to fit, glue the miters together. So I'll just show a couple of little things to um, help you along. I think I need a new bottle of glue. No. Mark them all up, because they always go on one way. I'll do just for a second. I'll get some glue on this one now. Another thing as well which I just forgot to do on the other side is if I glue, the glue will squirt out the bottom so I'm just going to put some masking tape on it like masking tape will a big help to you when you work on your own they're all marked up So I'll do it now. Otherwise in the morning I won't be able to get it off. Yeah. That'd be okay. Get them as near as possible. Make a big fuss over your makers. Hold everything together, so that's just a little block there. It's just a block cut like that with a notch in it. But right there, what you do then? What I do anyway, I just tape them onto the corners like that. Okay, so I tape it over, and just hold it on there with a bit of tape a minute, and then do more like that one for each corner. like a big lasso a little bit like that. just get them roughly like that so it's holding them on okay <coughs> this was falling off okay now what I do I put pack this up as well just now but I should have packed it up better than that really move it all over a bit Okay. 
So I'm just going to tighten this up now. And what I usually do, I've got a bit of stick like that. Just a bit of stick. And I turn it, there's a hole there, I might be able to use that. And I turn it around like that. Just stick it down in the hole. So it's nice and tight. Okay. And I get some bits of wood like that. Stick them down in there. And just turn them. Turn them like that. <laughs> Keep checking your joints. Turn them like that. And it's going to get tighter and tighter. Yeah, it's getting tighter. Tightening, squashing the glue out so it's doing a reasonable job. Yeah. Maybe one more. That's a lovely joint now. Eh? Have a good look at them now. Yes. Very good. Then we'll actually do it. So attempt another one. So it must have worked, the glue's all squashed up there. So just to be on the safe side then, I just I'm gonna put a little clamp on each corner just to make sure they pull together. Okay. I know that looks like bad practice now because I because I'm putting a clamp on the bare wood. But it's um that's not being seen, I'm gonna kind of turn it over in there. Anything, there's no need. This will stay like that now till the morning. Another one here. Alright, that'll do it. I'm going to leave that now till the morning. Have a quick look at my joints because they're worth it. <laughs> That's a good joint. Right, there's not any light through those at all. That'll do, okay? Thank you very much. See you soon.